Look who's here. We're in heels today. Honestly, I don't know how you girls do it. It's tough, but it's good. Where to go? I put the hero in heroin. These flows, kilos. I can sell snow to a ski slope. I can sell evil to the devil. Non-believers to a temple shit. I can sell water to a speedboat. Truly, if I had the opportunity to be a girl for a day, I would seize that opportunity in a heartbeat to be 1,000% honest with you guys. The first thing I want to experience, though, is what goes through a girl's head. I truly want to know what actually goes through her head when she's angry and that stuff. Because girls make zero sense when they are angry. So say I'm texting my girlfriend or something, and then she's just acting all weird, and I'm just like, is everything okay? Is something wrong? And she's like, yeah, I'm fine. I just don't feel like talking. So then you just reply with like, oh, all right, well... I'll leave you alone. Sorry about that. Bye. And then this bitch blows up. She's like, wow, the fact that you're so unsensitive to my feelings and how I am, the fact that you can't even realize how angry I am and what you did is so wrong. Like, bitch, what the fuck did I do? I just asked if something was wrong. They're not telling me something's wrong. You're telling me you don't want to talk to me. And now you're saying, why the fuck are you going? Like, it makes no fucking sense. So it's that easy for you not to care, huh? That's all it takes? You're not even going to bother and ask what's wrong with me? What the fuck? I just asked you like three times what was wrong with you and you said nothing. If I say nothing something's wrong with me then obviously something's wrong with me that's your problem you just don't give a fuck you don't care about me or my feelings somebody asks you what's wrong with you you supposed to tell them you ain't supposed to keep saying no and then when they finally stop asking you get mad at them because they're not trying to figure out what's wrong with you it don't make no goddamn sense i literally just lost breath right there i just got so fucking heated so the second thing i would personally want to know is the feeling of what it's like to masturbate at like as a girl because i already know what it's like as a guy i basically do it like thousands of times a day it seems and no i wouldn't use a dildo or a dick i don't want to be fucked i don't want a penis penetrating me at all that's weird i never want a penis inside of my fake imaginary vagina never i never want anything imaginary near my imaginary vagina i don't want anything near it and probably the last thing i want to know is like the feeling of being pregnant like i just would truly want to know that like all the pain because people are always saying i don't believe this at all a kick in the balls is 10 times more painful than childbirth okay let's be realistic here childbirth your vagina is being ripped to fucking pieces like being dead serious imagine having a fucking human being just bleh, coming out of your fucking body and especially something that like i i would never want to experience that especially for nine months having some motherfucking alien inside of your stomach like that's fucking terrifying i would well, I'd want to know what the experience is like because I want to know what the hype is all about and why someone would want to have more kids and that stuff. But truly, I would want to know what that feels like. So I hope you guys did enjoy this commentary. It was more of a weird one, funny one. Once again, if you guys did enjoy, hit that like button. It always means the world to me. If you guys want to tell me in the comment section down below your own thoughts on what you want to experience if you were a girl or a guy for a day, what you would do. Anyways, once again, it's me, your boy Corey here, Oracle Ace. I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, peace.